Well, what is up guys, this is KingGamer8 here, and today I will be showing you how to get the trophy, the Tower of Babel, on Black Ops 2 Zombies on the map Transit. Like every other zombie map, Treyarch, I put a little, little or not little, I wouldn't say little, a massive easter egg that sort of follows on the story of Zombies, and uh, they've done something different in this, in this map, they've actually added two sides you can pick, so... Uh, the trophy description is obey the, obey the voices, and uh, basically you hear Maxis and Rick Tofford speaking, and you can basically choose which one that you want to do. In this video, I'll be showing you how to do Rick Tofford, and I'm working on a video on Maxis as well, so make sure you look out for that. So the first step of this Easter egg is to build the obelisk table, and the reason I say this is because well, we don't have to exactly do this first, but I would recommend doing it first because when you actually finish it, it saves to your online profile, so you don't have to go and do it again. So no matter how far you get, actually doing it, like how many parts you put in, it will actually save on your online profile, and it only work online. You can't go local or offline solo. It will only appear online, and the obelisk table is made out of four parts scattered all around the map and I'll show you them here and just a quick note I did record this on theatre mode so you won't be able to actually see the parts which is really annoying but you if you do follow this guide you will see what I'm talking about once you uh, know where it is so the first part of the easter egg is the meteor rock which you can easily find in the bus depot in this little crack in the wall here and like I said you'll be able to see it but once I pick it up it will look something like that at the bottom of the screen and uh, yeah that's basically it for the meteor rock it will, n it will never change places it will always be in that little crack the second part of the obelisk table is a little radio that you will find at the diner stop in the uh, little uh, building where the box is it will be up here on this little cupboard and you've got to jump up to grab it and it looks something like that if it's not here you'll have to go find it in Nacta own Totem, it will be on one of the uh, little shelves somewhere. The third part of the obelisk table you will find in farm, where the, in the building where the box is, it's over the, at the far wall next to the fridge. If it's not here, it will be over in town where the box usually spawns next to the dumpsters at the very back. The fourth and final part of the obelisk table is a big plank of wood. You can find it easily in the power room, it will be anywhere around here, it will look like that as well. Uh, if it's not here you can easily find it in the tunnel between the bus depot and the diner. So what you want to do now that you've got all the parts for the obelisk table, you want to go to the crafting bench specialised for it, well, and uh, where it is is between farm and the power room where the, all the corn is and what you'll do is you'll find this little opening here right behind the white car and once you go in here you'll want to take your first left then your first right and then your first left again and what you'll find is you'll find a like pylon thing and under it will be the bench but the thing is you actually won't be able to see it you actually got to like find the specific place to put it in so as you can see me here I'm trying to find it will come up with add part and I'm trying to find it and because uh, it's on theatre mode you won't be able to see it but uh, that's basically all you have to do for all the parts and this is Karam trying to find the part and he finds it much quicker than me so that's what it looks like after the power box and the meteor rock so once you build all the parts the table will look a bit like this and it will say when you walk up to it, insert nav card and I have no idea what that means but when you do it says wrong nav card or something like that so if someone could tell me what that means that would be great because I absolutely have no idea so when you finish that you can just quit the game and start another game because the key to the easter egg is you want to do it as quick as possible and because it saves on your online profile it will be there the next game so uh, that's quite helpful I guess and uh, but the second part of the easter egg all you really need to do you don't really need to do it but it's quite useful you just need to get a load of points because in the easter egg you need to get EMP grenades and obviously well everyone needs to get EMP grenades obviously that's going to take some time so uh, building a lot of points and then putting them in the bank for the next game 
is really useful and uh, it can just increase the chances of getting the EMP grenades. Alright, so the third part of the Easter egg is a really basic one. I'm sure everyone knows how to do it by now, but if you don't, what you have to do is you have to build the power and what you'd have to do is you have to find the three parts that the power consists of. It's the like board, I guess you could say, and the handle and the forearm, the zombie forearm that goes on the handle and uh, they're all in the power room and the workbench is just uh, around the massive generator thing just around the back uh, yeah it's pretty simple I'm sure everyone knows how to do that by now but if you didn't that's just a quick and easy way to explain it alright so after a little while uh, after turning on the power Richtofen will actually speak to you and uh, he'll only speak to the character that's playing as Samuel and obviously I was, I was playing as Russman and Cam was playing as uh, Samuel so I had to go download the actual quote of what Richtofen says and this is what he says Ah, good job, wunderbar You've done well my friend but this is not a sprint this is a marathon Of your group, you are the only one who seems to be able to hear me so you must convince your deaf friends to heat up the obelisk Setting a puny fire will not be enough. It must reach an extreme temperature. Now, if only you know how to build a portable engine of some sort, which might grow very hard. Hmm, some sort of jet engine with an afterburner? Oh, what? You do? Oh, goody, goody. So, why are you still standing here listening to voices in your head? Get to it, Schweinhund, or Maxis will kill you all! So that was Richtofen Tofford speaking and basically giving us the uh, the next step to the easter egg. He's basically said that we have to heat up the obelisk with some sort of jet engine or afterburner. Which is what we have to do next. We have to create the jet gun which is made, which is the a an actual jet engine. And then what we have to do is we have to actually heat it up at the obelisk table. So now what we have to do is we have to actually create the jet gun itself so the jet gun is made out of four different parts all scattered around the map the first part i found here was uh, the gauge or the gouge or the gorge whatever you want to call it and uh, it's here located in the little shack between the power room and the town uh, it's, it's hard to just find but if if you run for the town and just stay on the left you'll be able to find it and it's just in this little shack and it'll be somewhere around this little shack so the second part that I found for the jet gun is a bundle of cables. Uh, they're really easy. To, it's really easy to find. All you can do is just look around the power room. I found it here just across the cardboard, a little bridge bit. Yes, yeah, so that's probably the easiest part of the gun to find. The third part of the jet gun is the actual handle of the jet gun and this is located in Nacta on Totem now Nacta on Totem is located in the cornfield between farm and the power room just like the obelisk table and uh, you see this light here locates the actual entrance to try and get in so what you do, want to do is you want to go down this alley uh, you want to take your first left and then you got to be careful because there's a really thin allo alleyway uh, on your right it's really easy to miss and uh, you just keep running down that little thin alleyway and you'll see it very easily so as you can see I'm having trip difficulty trying to find it I think I've gone past it and I, I got really confused here trust me and uh, it Nacta on Totem actually looks pretty sweet I mean it looks like the actual World at War map itself so and here it is it looks exactly like it and what the handle is always it will always be here it won't be anywhere else but you got it's hard to find because it's always on these different shelves but I found it on this shelf it's always on a shelf, so just have a look out for that. The fourth and final part of the jet gun is the actual jet engine itself. What you want to do is you want to go to the tunnel between the bus depot and the diner. Now, I would have gone and done that, but Cam is a fag and he already picked up the part so he had to pick up another part just so I can show you guys what it actually looks like and this is what it looks like it's an act it's actually huge it looks like a beast I mean it's a jet engine what do you expect and uh, once you get all these parts you just want to go back to town and build the jet gun 
What the hell was that? So here I am in town, about to put the last part into the crafting bench. This is actually the actual crafting bench that you need to build the uh, jet gun on. And look at it, it's an absolute tank. Uh, people said that it was a wonder weapon, but I really w wouldn't really class it as a wonder weapon. Most because it's, like it's just not ship. that wonderful, I guess. I mean, it breaks after a while, and you need a turbine to charge it back up, which isn't great. So once you get this, you go back to the obelisk table. So here I am with the obelisk table, and what you want to do now is just heat up the table itself with the jet gun, and you do that by just unloading the whole thing uh, on the table. I think you need to do it on the radio and the meter rock because I think that's where you get the most success. If it breaks, that doesn't matter. That's what has to happen. So now what you have to do is you have to gather element 115 from under the pylon and how you do that all you basically do is just kill zombies that come under the pylon and I'm spectating uh, my friends because I disconnected because I got the shittiest internet in the world and with this part there was some there was some talk they to use only explosives uh, only explosives on the zombies but that's not the case as you can see we're using all kinds of weapons and it worked for us and once you actually fit once you actually finish this step Rick Toffin will say this Ah, oh, wunderschön! But now too much power is flowing into the obelisk! You must reduce the incoming power by a factor of four! Alright, so that was Rick Toffin saying that we have to reduce the power by a, a factor of four and we do that by throwing, e this is where the uh, points come in, we have to get the EMPs, all four players have to get EMPs and throw them at the street lights, the green street lights and they have to be flickering otherwise they wouldn't work so I would recommend one going to the bus depot, one going to the diner, one going to the one just near the lava pit where town is and one between the farm not the farm the power room and town and that that's those are probably the easiest to get this done so this is the last step first what we have to do is we have to get the denizens on our head to create a uh, teleporter under all of the street lamps and basically what we do is we just uh, communicate and when we're going to throw you go three two one and then throw them at the same time and you'll know when you when you've done it because Rick Toffin will say this yeah yeah you did it soon this beautiful planet will be healed once more and the flesh will cover the earth <gasps> what a glorious day that will be for you you will be the hero that has saved all of the earth for me to play with! <laughs> so that's basically all of the easter egg. I hope you guys enjoyed, hope you found it useful. Uh, like I said at the beginning, Maxis will be out soon as well. Anyway, it's been KingGamer80, and I'll see you guys later.